And next up, we have Easy Meat Foodstuffs Little Bridge, written by Arthur Stone. It is 355 pages. It is $5.99. It's available on Kindle Limited. And here's the author's description. Welcome to the challenge. You're an absolute nobody. Here, nothing. A zero, a useless lump of meat filled with bones. You're but a delicious morsel for your antagonists and those who are lucky at the start. Your only goal... Uh, the only goal you can have in your miserable existence is to kick the bucket as soon as possible. Okay, uh, that is a a, a, um, a very interesting novel description. It does not do justice, I think, to what is actually in the novel, though. Uh, this is a very good modern set uh, player versus player um, story. It has a very unique. Um, it is a very different, I should say, RPG progression system than other stories. It doesn't just have levels. It's not a, a very interesting, um, I want to say, it, they call it a class system in the story, but essentially it's a, uh, a, a, a class system in the sense of a stratified society system where the lowest tier of, of kidnapped players are called meat. They, um, they're essentially fodder for the other, like, uh, higher, higher tier players. Um, and they give really big rewards when they're killed. Like they give a bunch of like, cool equipment, um, all the little resources they need to upgrade equipment or themselves and, and gain their levels. And the main character as this fodder meat has to figure out a way to understand the rules that he's, he's found himself in, um, survive the encounters of the players and essentially go from being, um, the bottom of, of this, of this like hierarchical system to a real threat to other players. And that's kind of the, the, the line of progression that you're following in the story. It goes from like main character having really nothing, just his underwear, um, surviving monsters, surviving his initial other players. And it shows how he uses his intelligence, how he figures out the rules over time and takes advantage of those rules to, to really progress, to be a actual threat to these, um, other players who had a hand up when they started. Um, so it's very entertaining to see. It's again, a very modern setting. So you're going to see things like guns, but they have limited resources, uh, limited bolts around, um, and, and other options. And there definitely is an RPG system, but again, it is very much geared towards a PVP kind of system in that, um, most the players are hunting each other and also mostly hunting these, uh, meat class, the, these, these classes players. Um, and they're very intelligent and very, you know, cruel, um, players who are taking advantage of the system to create their own little power bases. And overall, this is just one l timed level where they only have a certain amount of time to, to get to a certain like level ranking. And then they're going to go somewhere else and it's going to start all over and there might be new rules that, that they, you know, it's going to happen. It's unclear. That first like level doesn't end in the book though. It's, it really is just like, oh, this is a uh, kind of a slice of life adventure story, survival story of the main character. Um, you know, where he's figuring things out. Um, and, and it's just, I thought it was very entertaining. And again, the RPG system is really resource-based in that when you kill another player or monster, um, you use resources um, of various things to, to get in levels, to upgrade your stats, upgrade repair equipment, um, learn system skills, um, you know, heal yourself, um, heal poisons, whatever the case is, medicines. Uh, and all these things are, are very much dropped by killing by killing players by killing monsters and so there is very much an aggressive stance on on what players should and should not be doing the main character does kind of find uh, an interesting space and in how to do that without like necessarily being a player killer or uh, or necessarily like wanting to kill other people like him who are defenseless who are meant to be fodder for to help level up other players um, so very interesting stuff. And the, the loot crate system is very much like an intricate part of the progression. So what I thought was unique and I thought was an interesting way um, to make your PvP system mean something instead of just it being about, you know, um, you know, numbers on a ranking system. It really is about, oh, this is the fastest and the best way to gather resources. So we can do that or are you going to take a slower progression path? It's a choice the character has to make. So overall, uh, there's a little bit of awkwardness in the, in a slower beginning because the main character doesn't know what's going on. So that is kind of us and the character. Um, but once the action started, it was regular. There are smart fights. There's a, a good variety of action tactics and I enjoyed it overall. For me, it gets a score of 7.7 .7 out of 10, which is a, a, a pretty good review score. It's about uh, pretty close to great, but not quite there. Uh, it's easy meets food stuff with the score of 7.7 .7 out of 10.